Canada versus Great Britain on all wars reality check. So I show up to the accommodations. I was just in the right place at the right time. On Thursday night. I was going down to support my mate Tom, Tom Holland. And let me tell you something. When Neil Pickup says, do you want a second match at Arm Wars? There's only one answer. I don't care who it's against. Mate, I weren't going to miss the opportunity of getting an Arm Wars debut, you know what I'm saying? So. Jason seemed like a good enough guy. We shook hands. Uncle John, very dangerous top roller with his long levers and a massive hand. Could be pretty dangerous to Jason. They're dangerous for each other. Please give a round of applause for Jason the Blue Hill. Jason Hill, the way he fires himself deep into that venomous lethal hook. You can see that he's been schooled by the Slough Slammers and he wears that emblem proudly on his sleeve. I know what Jason's like, I know where his strengths are. Really strong inside puller. Today, is a massive test for Jason Hill. My opponent is Uncle John from Canada. My name's Uncle John, John Thompson. Uncle John Thompson! I am known for Uncle John's Arm Wrestling Show. It's a YouTube channel, and it is basically documenting my process of going from quitting my PhD program specifically to become a professional arm wrestler. You can nominate a strap. He came with so much desire. He wants to test himself so badly and it's quite a risk for him because he's never travelled abroad before to compete. He knows nothing about his opponent. And not only that, but you're on a stage and there's literally thousands of people. The nerves were kicking a lot harder than I anticipated them to be. Both guys, knuckles, you're both covering a little bit. If you're both happy, I'm going to will it to let it go. Um, you got it, you got it. Wrist off. Wrist off, John. Bring up! Oh, running foul, running foul. Come on! Well, my strengths in a match are normally my inside power. Once I constrict someone, it's hard for them to get out. Uh, which is interesting dynamic. He's a very good hooker. I'm a very good top roller. He was on the run. Oh, well done. Yes, because she was on a running barrel with a slip. No, 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 just you. Just you. Yeah? Now listen to me. Anything you're unhappy with, you speak to me. Don't be going off on one. You speak to me. We're okay. You sort any problems that you have. Yeah, let's have a good match. Hands open, gents. Hands open. Okay. Jason, you have control of how tight it goes. Yeah. That's, that's enough, okay? Yeah. Okay, right. We're not in the restroom though, right? No, 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 I'm just making sure. Take your grips. Shoulders. I'm thinking about getting locked onto his arm as much as I can and how tight I need the strap. Shoulder. Both men's shoulders. Get that wrist, get that wrist. Gotta bring yours off, Uncle John. Shoulder off, bring it off. Bring it off! Big That's what I thought about that! Oh shit. You don't do that to Jason Hill. You don't do that at all. That really got under his skin. Fuck you. I am evil Uncle John at that point. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't care who you are. You are not my friend. You are my enemy. Thompson with the win. Wow. Uncle John shouting his mouth off still saying, Start, Start the, the clock. clock! He wants to go straight to the second match. That's it, game one. He's a bit of a loud, bombastic type of guy. Wants to make a show for the people and he's good at it. That's one of the things that he does best. Nobody has this hand! Understand that! What Uncle John has done now, he's lit a fuse, and now Jason Hill's gonna come out firing. Round number two. Jason Hill, how bad do you want this? You've got time if you want it. You've got time if you want it. I don't need no time. So in the second match, I know I'm gonna have to get round his hand as much as possible, connect onto his arm, and then go from there. First pin, Thompson. Let's come off, start your own shoulder right there, Shoulder right there. Leading by one pin at this stage. Shoulder off, John. So fired up, Jonathan Thompson. Thompson. John, you're over in the that knuckle, that's it, it's okay. And takes Bring that first round. pin. Shoulder off. I've heard Uncle John uses the exploding hand technique, but Jason Hill is the bomb disposal squad. 
of that match. Very strong guy. Don't sleep on Jason Hill, I told you. Oh, amazing. When I got inside of him, didn't have the same horsepower. I missed the go. I thought it was an early start, but we'll, we'll give the referees the benefit of the doubt on that one. The ref can say ready, go at any time. You need to be prepared. You need to be ready, sir. No skin off my back, mate. That's your own fault. But that pissed me off even more. So he got a win. I did. I really wanted to come to Arm Wars and just blow everyone away. So I, had, I was one and one. I feel confident, I know the game plan, I know what's needed to be done on this third match, so yeah, let's get the ball rolling. If Tom Holland's there, there's no need for me to give advice, but what I can do is get him mentally ready, slap on the back, let him know that he's in a fight. Remember guys, you have one minute in between rounds if you want it. Hill with the blonde walks, the far side of the table. Thompson, the man nearest myself. Action-packed encounter here in the Super Series. Arm Wars reality check. Okay, come on, guys. It's not fun, though. Yeah. Shoulders first. Give me your shoulders, and then we can whip the hands. Okay, both of you guys are high, but you're both happy going up there. I am going to let it go if you're slightly above. So both back shoulders off. You two, Jay, back it on. Oh, look at the knock. Down. Yeah, Turn that off. Take your grip. Yeah, right, you're over his knuckle there, John. Uh, don't rise it. Ready, go. Ready, go. His elbow comes off the back of the pad. He slip out. And looks like John's on a run. Both men hit the foul in the round. The foul is cancelled out. And he quits and they start again with no fouls. Next step forward. Half up. It was an enormous hit to the back of the pad with a top roll, trying to break open the hand and sure. wrist of his opponent was Jonathan Thompson. Wrist. He could not do so. Yeah, I'll bring the wrist round. He Go. stayed close, stayed okay. tight. Come on, I don't want to force he anything. Any ground there and it's really warming up here. Shoulder off, shoulder off. Ready up! Here! Here! When it comes to my particular style of arm wrestling, it's just here. I want to control your hand, with my hand. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. Uh, I'm not much of an inside puller. It's all about hand control and exploding what you give me. You ain't got it out of the strap, you ain't got it in the strap. Oh, it's starting to get my blood boiling with his little comments. I'm just trying to keep to my game plan and not lose my head. Remember, you've got the buckle, you choose a tight, okay? Okay, guys, first of all, put your elbows back a little bit. I want to make it as far as I can for the set up. Just keep your elbows there. If I see them moving, I'm going to start dishing out a few fouls, okay? Hey. Don't be moving when I'm putting it on. No, you're not off You said you were going to give him a foul. Give him a foul. Yeah, well, I'll be giving you one in a minute, John. Uh, the referee is your key in arm wrestling. If you can control the referee, you can control the match. So in this match, Paul's turned around and said he's not going to start the match until we're completely happy, which is what I need to hear. I need the strap as tight as I can get it. Yes, you're happy with that? You're happy with that tightness? It doesn't need to be tighter. That's enough, because I'm trapping your skin. It's enough. No, Take your grips. No, yeah, there's got to be a, a compromise. Yeah. Well, take your grip. I don't know where your knuckle's going to be until you take your grip. Yeah, there's a lot of messing around on the setup, which isn't helping me at all because it's blowing my hand up a bit. Biggest match of your life. It's not something that you want running through your head. And then what happens now is you're well over that knuckle too. So give me some knuckles. Okay. Let's use that as a baseline because I'm happy with that. Shoulder off, John. Don't keep re-gripping. And we go centre table, which is here. I just need like some wrist. Uh, you're going to get some when yours turns round and you both rotate, you're going to get it. Okay, off. Ready, go! Oh, oh help, help, we're running foul. Jay, you want to running foul? Jay, put your elbow back on. Watch it. Keep your lats on. Elbow. Down. 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 Right, you, you was on a runner. You fouled. Restart. I'm telling you guys, all of you that are arm wrestling warriors at home, but you don't travel, you don't go anywhere, it's different.
you go up on a stage, it's at arm wars, and there's a thousand people watching you, it's not a county fair. It was not easy. I had control of his hand, but the dude is, is surprisingly strong, even when he's in a bad spot. I've gained a little bit of connection, but still, he's on top of my hand, everything's on my bicep, and putting everything down on the table, and I just can't get it back. Jason Hill has got a route to victory, and everybody in the room knows it. He's got to find the hook. He's got to shut down the space, make the match happen in a foam box. The tighter, the better. But John Thompson's a hard man to shut down. And John Thompson wants to win very, very badly. So you both wiped out with fouls again. You're both clean, OK? Match restarts, no foul. I had to try and get round his arm as much as possible, so I'm gonna have to try and do it by surprise scare tactic. It's the only thing I had left in the tank. I needed to beat him to the hit. That's it, he won. <laughs> Fucking prick. <laughs> He's a bit of a tricky wrestler to set up with because everything's high in the hand and he's always got his shoulder behind his hand so he's always bone lining on the setup. Arm Wars, to me, is something that brought me into arm wrestling. Arm Wars is, is one of the first things I ever saw. John Thompson, Uncle John. Enthusiasm and passion, he lacketh none. This dude will throw himself into the situation like Nobody else, the first time in an event of this magnitude. It's gonna test him physically, it's gonna test him mentally. So I started arm wrestling about 10 years ago, but two years ago I really went into overdrive. And not only was it a, a, a matter of arm wrestling and becoming a better arm wrestler, but I also weighed 320 pounds at that point in time. So I, I now weigh 210 pounds, I'm a much better arm wrestler, a much healthier human and uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm, I'm happy with that. Shoulders, give me some shoulders. I need to try and keep him out of the Bring strap. Bring shoulder off, John. Wrist, wrist around. Bring it up. Hey! hey. And a big smile breaks on the face of John Thompson. He could have made his slip a little bit more believable. <laughs> John, do that again. Yeah. All right. All right, we get for that. So the score's 2-1 now. I'm just staring straight at Uncle John, and he looks so confident. I'm just thinking to myself, this guy can't come all the way from Canada. I think he's going to have an easy ride. Jason, just go and do the job. Jason Hill having to work for this one. He's sweating profusely up here. John Thompson leading by two pins to one. Yeah, don't come over my foot. In an absolute scream. Well, look at look at how high he is now. Listen, you're both right with high. If you carry on, then if you both play the game, you'll get it. You're a wonderful referee, Paul. Red to the red line. So the match being 3-1 now, he only needs one more pin. I need to take the next two pins to get anywhere in the match. And I decided that was enough. That's it. Three pins. I really flipped the switch at that point in time. Day is done. Day is done. Got nothing left. You got nothing left, Jason! I have got tons left. Nothing left! Wrist is busted! Wrist is broken! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, three one down, he starts shouting his fucking mouth off again. And then, yeah, I can't say too much back because I'm down. I need to try and pull it out of the bag. Jason was getting all sorts of tips from Tom Holland, who's legendary lightweight status. And I'm like, Jason, get your ass to the table. And he actually came up to the table. I'm like, all right, then, let's, let's party. OK, you need this for the win, John? You've got to get two more if we get to a decider, Jay, OK? Yeah. Shoulders, please, both men. That's good. Center table is way over there. Off his knuckle, please, Uncle John. That's good. Here we go. Wrist off. 
Uh, okay. One you could tell he's got the nerves, he's trying to start a little bit early, jump the start. He can't afford to slip into the hook with me. Jason Hill is a little bit lighter than me, but very dangerous, very strong wrist, really good hooker. Bring it round, come on gents. Come on John. I don't want the referees grip you over, don't have to. I want you to make it close as you can on yourselves. Come down. Referees grip. So I have a theory in arm wrestling. One morning, you're on, okay? Listen to me commands. And it's called the theory of being nice as possible Sorry. to the referee. Very important to listen to me commands, okay? You're doing a great job, Paul. Don't be a sarcastic or not. I don't care, I'm doing a great job. Paul is doing a great hey, job. Hey, listen to me. You can dominate the strap now if you wanted to. Okay, let's go. Paul is, is a good referee. He is good to the point where it made it difficult for me to do the things that I wanted to do, which as a promoter is what you're looking for. As a competitor, it's a little bit more frustrating. I tried to manipulate Paul quite a bit, telling him that he was doing a great job. And to his credit, he didn't buy it for a second. John? Over, over, over. You're over. over. We're ready to go. Running foul, running foul. Get it on back on Stop. Coincidental foul. I felt in a shit position again. I tried top rolling and I've tried getting out of his hand, but again, his hand's too big. This time, Uncle John, you get wrapped first, okay? Jay, keep that hand off, you're too tight on it. Ready, go! Big elbow foul. I had an elbow foul too. You, you don't admit <laughs> to fouling. <laughs> it's absolutely ludicrous. It's, it's not on, John. That's not on. <laughs> See how nice of a guy I am? Referee's got shoulders. Centers here. Okay, this time it's your grip again. Thumb down, yeah. Uncle John. Thumb down. Okay. And at that point, I could feel his soul leaving his arm a little bit. So I immediately shifted my focus to antagonizing him and every other person in his corner. Tell him, Tom! Tom, tell him! Tell him what to do! This is exploding hand! Anybody want to know what exploding hand is? This is the exploding hand! He's screaming his mouth off, saying about an exploding hand, but he ain't exploding no one's hand. I couldn't get out of his hand, that's about it. All I'm thinking is, it could go off. I was hoping that didn't happen, but if Jason did do that, I would completely understand where he's coming from. Uncle John was given a lot of verbals. I think uh, that that worked out in my favour. You're in the strap, and you're still in a referee's grip, and Jason's on one foul. Paul setting us now up in the strap, referee's grip. I'm on one foul, <laughs> the shittest of the shit can be, but I've got to try as much as I can and try and get as much purchase as I can and get the strap as tight as I can. Let me tell you something, when you're this strong, everything is easy. John Thompson is obsessed with the sport of arm wrestling. Referee's grip bars, okay? The man absolutely loves it. He's been on a journey himself just to get to the Arm Wars Super Series. This time it's your rap first, Uncle John. This is a guy that used to walk around at 300 pounds. He's lost so much weight and he's just really adapting to this new style, the new body weight. Starting 10 years ago, I dreamt of making it to Arm Wars. And to be here, there's not really enough words that I could say uh, to, to, to describe what, what it actually means to me. Um, it, it, is the, it is the end all be all. And that's it for me. Ready to go! Thompson facing for that hand again, looking for the pin! Nice work! He closes on the match! Uncle John, Uncle Thompson with the win here! Same time tomorrow, David! Same time tomorrow, David! I got you left handed! Believe that! Yeah, so after the fifth match, I was a little bit baffled. I was like, where's he gone? We actually didn't even pull the sixth round because I think I was so amped up. I just knew I had won four matches and I like walked off the stage. So we only pulled five matches. 
That's it, mate. I was just about to start a comeback. You know what I mean? I beat Jason Hill four to one, but not easily. At the end of the day, Jason Hill was surprisingly strong. Uh, I'm really happy I got to pull him because not only did it give me more confidence in my right arm, but it just gave me more confidence to get on the stage. That's it. It comes to a conclusion. He was just a better man on the day. Fair play to him. Enough respect to John. I'd like to say a big thank you to Arm Wars. This is the beginning, not the end. But one day, John, mate, I'll get you and stop running your mouth. <laughs> Fuck you.